Okay, it's Goldman here. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit on swing speed. Now I've got three targets, one being a 9 gram, another being a 1.09, so that's a 9 gram, 1.09 gram, and a 0.8. And I'm using my uh, Magic 11 inch Elite. My settings I've got, um, I'm about uh, to have a look on, in fact, Five below null, threshold A of 30, gain of 5. So the idea of this is to show you what different swing C speed makes to the target response. So over a 9 gram piece, I can swing very fast. If you wait for the audio to recover, you get a good idea of what's happening. So what I mean by audio recover, wait till it's quiet after moving it back and then swing it back over the target. If you go too fast, it's just a continuous target response and you sort of lose a bit of information, but it's high, low, low, high and whatever else. But nevertheless, you can swing it quite fast over a large bit and expect to get a target response every time. Now, of course, I'll come up I must be about um, must be about a foot over that at the moment. So you do lose a bit of target response fly up if you go fast. Okay, so here's the 1.09 gram piece. So using a brush cutter, I can pick that up every time at a low low height. Going slower, I can pick that 1.09 gram piece up. I don't know what that would be, be about uh, 6 to 7, 8 inches maybe. And, and you can see I can pick it up going quite fast, but as you get up higher and higher, so the target's getting deeper and deeper in the ground, you know, if you go too fast, you're going to miss it. So that's, that's fast speed, you only pick it up every two or three swings. Slow speed, you pick it up every time at the same height. So at the same depth in the ground, best to go low and slow if you want to pick up small targets, no, no matter what coil you've got. Now here's my 0.08 piece. I can pick it up with this coil at, what's that? I don't know, two, three inches maybe. Now, if you go too fast in this piece, add a bit of depth, you sort of lose it. So it's best to go low and slower if you want to find the small pieces. Now, the QED, you can normally swing a bit faster than most other detectors and it will still pick up. But if you're really after finding everything that's in the ground beneath the coil, it's best to go just a little bit slower, wait for the audio to recover before you come back, and you'll be more productive in the end. You might not cover as much ground, but you most likely will pick up more gold in the time you spend. Now, just as a matter of interest, sneaking up on this piece, I can just get it on the edge of the toe of the coil, just get it in the side of the coil, and so all four, four point to the compass, I can pick it up just in the edge of the coil, so if you're doing any, any, um, bit of EMI around, Again, you can pick it up on the, all four corners of the coil. It's a bit more difficult with the small piece. So you get much better response towards the centre of the coil. So for small pieces, you really do need to be slower to be able to pick them up.
All right, I thought that might be useful for those who are just perhaps starting out and getting an idea of how fast they should swing. Um, hopefully all you find out there is nine grand bits, but most likely you'll find sub-gram and sub-sub-gram pieces like this one, 0.08. All right, Goldman out.